Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Worst effing gamer here. I know you guys are having a hard time with Phoenix right now. I got her. If you don't have her, she's very difficult. Everybody's using her in the arena. So the purpose for this video is I'm going to help you guys out. Hopefully, even if I help one person out there <laughs> do better in the arena, it's a success. Yay! We're going to change the arena one person at a time. So I'm just going to break it down for you guys how I got rank number one in the arena check it out very excited guys i took down a really really powerful team we're gonna talk about all the heroes in this team and you're gonna see that a few of them are not that powerful and obviously in the top of the arena we're facing some crazy whales but i'm gonna explain exactly how this team works and the secret weapon on this team we're gonna go through all these heroes and i'm assuming that a lot of you guys are not gonna have these heroes this high um powered but don't worry about it the efficiency is still the same so let's just jump into the heroes and see how this is gonna work first of all we all know about ultron if you have him then you're very happy you know what he does you're already somewhere in the top of the arena with ultron this guy will single-handedly destroy any team without him except x-men but just wanted to point out obviously he's one of them this is my ultron right now i maxed out three of his abilities the last ability i didn't max out because to be honest it's good but it's not that necessary right now. I can wait on that for a little bit, all right? So Ultron is the first on the team. Let's check out number two. All right, the second and probably very important hero on this team is uh, Captain Marvel. I've maxed everything I can on my Captain Marvel. As you can see, all the abilities all maxed out. Gear tier 13. I got lucky with the red stars. I got five. It's not the best. And I'm very close to getting her to seven stars here. <laughs> We're very, very close. I'm excited about that. I want to see what that power jumps up to as seven stars. So, I mean, she's incredible, guys. Uh, the power that I can get from a binary uh, ultimate here, 640% damage is insane. Usually, I either take out Phoenix or I very nearly kill her. And then her binary secondary attack that she hits everybody most likely knocks her out. So, this is important. Uh, if you have Captain Marvel, very, very strong. It's going to help out a lot with this team to get you, to get you a, lot, a lot higher in the arena. So, this is the second hero move on to the third now phoenix another tricky hero here that's hard to get obviously she's legendary so i'm guessing not everybody's gonna have her but right now she's everywhere in the arena she's too good right now guys it's very very difficult to win without her if you're facing her not only do you have to take out her first form but then once she dies she comes back as dark phoenix which is even which is even more deadly if she gets her ultimate off as a dark phoenix 400 damage to everybody clear all positive effects it's in it's literally insane guys and then she's got so much other stuff that she does as soon as she spawns she gives everybody defense down for two turns and trust me your opponents are not going to last two turns once she spawns so right now she is mvp in the arena it's just incredible but that's why i'm sharing this arena tip with you guys maybe it'll help you kind of defeat her because i think this is going to help out negate her a little bit here so let's move on to the next hero all right so the fourth hero that works really well is psylocke obviously psylocke is very important to this team she's just incredible all around her ultimate here transfers two negative effects from each ally to primary target transfer all negatives from self and x-men allies so in this team you're gonna have obviously phoenix and psylocke so everything that phoenix will get from everybody she will transfer to your opponent works really really well like i said before this is why she's here uh to take away blind to take away defense down to pretty much take anything away that's going to be her main main priority and she also deals a good amount of damage with her other abilities here as well as clear um two buffs from your opponent so that's also really really good as well now i got really unlucky here i'm only 10 away from six stars it's also going to make her six red stars so that's going to be even better for her so i'm working on her slowly but i'm very happy where she's at right now all right guys so let's go to the main missing link and there it is guys the missing link my pride and joy i absolutely love falcon you do not even know obviously it's because i got him at seven red stars But right now, he's not at 7 red stars. As you can see, I don't have him all the way up to 7 stars. I've only got him at 5 stars. So, those two extra red stars right now don't even count. Right? So, even if you have him at 5 stars, if you have him at 4 red stars, this is going to work. The plan is still the same. So, this ability here is the reason why you use Falcon. 
change speed bar for self and all allies. You already know about this changing the speed bar for each you know, enemy with a positive effect. But the main secret, clear stealth from all allies. This is very crucial, guys. As we know, Phoenix on her second ability, she's going to put all her allies into stealth mode. It's very difficult to attack him. You, you're, you're pretty much forced into killing Phoenix, which is good. You want to kill Phoenix as soon as possible. And actually, the strategy is kill Phoenix right away, even before she uses her ultimate as Dark Phoenix. But this ability here really, really helps out with the speed and then clearing out everything else. Now, this ability here is also really, really good. Deals a ton of damage. Usually when I'm using this, I'm always facing Ultrons. And the Ultrons, I've gotten so many positive effects that this will almost knock half the team out all, every time. Obviously, all of the summons will get knocked out. And then his other abilities are great for power armor mainly. So use those in, in war. This is another decent ability that does okay damage. But like I said before, mainly you're using him for your speed. Gives you extra turns. And also you're going to be using him for more damage here. So unfortunately, I already got ranked 1 before I made this video. So I can't really show any video right now. But don't worry guys. Uh, I'm streaming and making videos all the time. So you're going to be able to see this. On my next video possibly i could sneak that in there and i've had this rank one for over four hours now since my uh payout and nobody's attacked me i'm not sure if they're attacking and they're losing i'm not really sure what's happening obviously this team can be beat but on offense this team is incredible it really it really counters ultron it really counters phoenix really well but you might like I said before, you might need a really, really good Captain Marvel to be able to do this effectively. As you saw, my Phoenix is, isn't the greatest. My Ultron isn't really the greatest either. Falcon is only 5 red stars. I mean, the maximum I got is 5 red stars on everybody. Even though I have more red stars on them, I haven't unlocked them yet, so it doesn't really matter. So, it isn't the craziest. But I felt like I should share this with you guys. If you're struggling against Phoenix, Try out using Falcon, guys. Work on Falcon a little bit more and try him out in your arena. It might make a big difference, I'm telling you right now. Maybe not on defense, but on offense, I absolutely recommend Falcon. The speed, the uh, the extra attack that he'll give you is going to help out a lot. Anyways, I was pretty excited about this, guys, so I wanted to share this with you. And hopefully, like I said before, hopefully it helps you guys out that have Phoenix already. If you don't have Phoenix, you guys already know what you got to do. You need to work on your progression for Ultron. Obviously, that should be your main concern. Uh, work on Captain Marvel. Everybody should have her, right? That was a great gift that they gave us. And uh, slowly work on your characters that you're going to need for Phoenix. Falcon and Psylocke are two characters that you can slowly work on. I definitely recommend working on Falcon. Uh, a lot of people only use him for power armor because that's where he's great at. <laughs> but as you can see right now, he really, really works out on a lot of different teams. He's very flexible. Anybody with speed boost is flexible. Anyways, I want to end it off here, guys. Hope you enjoy that. I will catch you guys on the next Marvel Strike Force. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night.